Our next topic of conversation is service providers. Now, service providers is something that you should be familiar with, but we'll do a very quick review. Through the service provider, your package is able to hook up to Laravel and register its resources. Now, what are we talking about when we're talking about resources? We're talking about your routes, your migrations, your factories, your models, anything that you add to your package will get registered through your service provider. Now, you may be thinking that there is a single service provider for every package, but the truth is that you can have any number of service providers for your package. The more complex packages actually utilize two and three service providers. They may have one specific for when the app is running in command line, and they may have another one just for web routes. There's a lot of different approaches that you can take. Our package is simple enough that we can get away with just two. So in this video, we're going to create our press base service provider. Now, one thing to note about service providers is that a service provider is what turns your PHP package into a Laravel package. Otherwise, you just have a PHP package. Having that service provider is what allows your package to register with the core of Laravel. So it is an integral part of Laravel package development. Otherwise, we're just creating some packages. So let's get started. In my resources, I'm going to add a new PHP class, and it's going to be called Press Base Service Provider. Now, traditionally, you will have a suffix of service provider. And in our case, I already know we're going to have two of them. So we're going to have a base service provider. And then we're going to have a second service provider, which will actually get published. Now, you may be familiar with this pattern. That's when you run PHP Artisan Vendor Publish and you publish the assets of the package. This service provider is the core base service provider for our press package. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now, to turn this ordinary class into a service provider, we need to extend the Laravel service provider. So let's find that now. That's illuminate support service provider. So we have to have two methods inside our service provider. The first one is going to be the boot method. And the second one is going to be the register method. This is pretty straightforward Laravel stuff here. Now you are used to running PHP artisan provider and it will generate it for you. So in this instance, we're having to create it manually, but it's all the same thing. Now I do want to take you into this service provider very quickly and do some exploring. I'm going to command click into service provider. Now right off the bat, we see that service provider is an abstract class. A lot like we did with our field contract class, it will have some logic built into it, but it is not able to be instantiated in itself. There are a couple of methods here that we can override, one of them being merge config from. Through this method, you're able to bring in some additional configurations that the user provides while keeping your base config files. That's pretty cool. Uh, what about routes? Here it is. This is how we load our routes from a specific path. If we had a file full of routes, that's how you would load them. Same thing for views. We're going to go ahead and load package views through this. What about translations? This is how you load translations and JSON translations and migrations. So you see all of the things that we can hook into through this service provider and all this logic is already built in. So by simply extending service provider, Laravel is already providing a ton of code for us to use. So that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and hook this base service provider into our tests.